Okay, so in this video, we're going to be using calculus to show that the volume of a rectangular pyramid is one third times its height times its width times the length. So a pyramid, rectangular pyramid has a rectangle on the bottom with a width and a length, and then a certain height up to the apex. And so we're gonna define some things here. Um, the way we're gonna do this is by basically adding up a bunch of rectangular prisms, okay, uh, that are gonna change, their width and length are gonna change, they're gonna get smaller and smaller as we uh, get to the apex of the pyramid. And so let's just think about what one of those rectangular prisms looks like and what the volume of it is. That is gonna have a changing uh, width and length, so we're gonna call that W prime and L prime, just so we have some different variables. And the height we're gonna call uh, something is infinitesimally small, we're gonna be adding those up. So let's call it dx. And we're gonna call the point at the top here. So this is gonna be the x coordinate basically. And the point at the top is going to be x equals h. And the point at the bottom is gonna be x equal to zero. And so, at this point, we can actually write an expression uh, using calculus to say what our volume is. It's going to be the integral from uh, 0 to h. We're adding up. We're going from 0 to h. And the volume of each one of these rectangular pr prisms is going to be w prime times l prime times dx. Okay. And so now we just need to get w prime and l prime uh, in terms of h, w, and l, because we know these things are, are changing, w prime and l prime, they're getting smaller as we go up the pyramid. And so how are they getting smaller? Well, they're linearly getting smaller. You can see there's lines on the edge of any pyramid. And so uh, we're just gonna write what we know. We know that at x equals zero, um, w prime equals w. And we also know that at x equals zero, uh, l prime equals l, right? Because we're at the base. That's that first rectangular prism. At uh, x equals h, well, then w prime equals zero and l prime equals one. Because we're at the top of the pyramid there and it has zero volume. Both the width and length of that uh, rectangular prism are zero. And so now we have two points. Two points makes a line. We know it's linear. And so we can go ahead and calculate the uh, equation for the line. And so our line is going to be, let's do it first for W prime, for L prime will be very similar, is going to be uh, basically take Y equals MX B type form. So I'm putting uh, W prime equals MX plus B. Let's calculate our M. Well, that's going to be the, uh, change in rise over run, right? So the rise is delta w prime and the run is x. And so change in, uh, that's gonna be w minus zero divided by uh, zero minus h. That's gonna get us basically negative w over h is our m. That's our slope. So we're gonna plug that in. And now we can solve for our intercept B, plug in one of these points. So uh, let's plug in the first point, W prime, when W prime is W, then we have an X equals zero. And so that uh, immediately tells us that, well, uh, B must be equal to W. And so we have our finished, uh, equation here with our, let me get some room, the finished equation, w prime uh, is equal to minus w over h x plus w. And so at this point, we know essentially we could have done the same thing for, for L, 
right? And it's going to look very similar, just the, the W's are going to get substituted by uh, uh, L's. And so we're going to have L prime equals minus L over H X plus L. So we got that formula. Now we can plug those in for our volume. So we're going to get our volume is an integral from zero to H of now plugging in for what we just found for W prime. And same thing for L prime, negative L over H X plus L and DX. And so now we just have to solve this. And so uh, it takes a little bit of factoring out here, FOIL, right? So we're going to have our first term, which is going to be WL over H squared um, times X squared plus um, let's see, actually, plus a negative WL over HX, that's this inner term. The outer term is going to be minus uh, WL. It's going to look quite, it's going to be the same. Okay. And now we have um, last term is just plus WL. So that whole thing is going to be times by dx. And so let's just simplify this here a little bit. We can split this up into three integrals and combine these two terms. Those are the same. So we're going to get 0 to h, uh, factoring out our constants, just putting our constants outside here, x squared dx, OK, and then minus uh, 2 W L over H and that's integral 0 from H of X DX and then plus lastly our last term W L 0 to H DX and so um, once we have all of that we can now uh, go ahead and solve this. Okay, so I just copied over what we had there, and now we just need to uh, evaluate these three different integrals. So our constant, WL over H squared, from zero to H, the integral of X squared is one third X cubed, minus two WL over H, Integral of x is 1 half x squared, and then plus WL from 0 to h. Integral of dx is just x. And so let's plug in our values of h and 0 for all of these things, all these terms. We're going to get um, 1 third h cubed minus 1 third uh, 0 cubed minus 2 WL over h times uh, 1 half h squared minus 1 half 0 squared plus WL times uh, h minus 0. And so uh, a lot of these terms are going to go away. This 0 is going to go away. This 0 is going to go away. And this go goes away. And so what are we left with here? Well, we're left with WL over H squared times uh, one third H cubed minus two WL over H uh, times one half H squared uh, plus WL H. So here we have uh, an H cubed divided by h squared, so that's just going to get us so h on top, so it's going to get us wl uh, h over 3. And then this other term here, we have a h squared. We have a 2 on the bottom and a 2 on top. Those are going to cancel. We're, uh, and this h squared is going to cancel with this uh, h on the bottom, so we're going to get minus wl h plus wl h. And so those two terms are going to square it. 
So we end up with WLH over three, which is also the same as saying H uh, W L is our volume and which is the formula that is known from basic geometry, but there it is proven uh, using calculus by adding up these rectangular prisms.